Okay, so the main problem with my rotimatic is uh, you can see there's a lot of art up and don't do so there's no water coming into the uh, system. So where is all the water going? Uh, it's actually leaking out of the system. You can see on the side there's a lot of the water coming out of the system right there. So we have to figure out what's going on. So this is the opened up uh, rotimatic. Uh, it's kind of moderate difficulty to to open it up, there are some plastic attachment points that you have to be careful not to break. Uh, otherwise, uh, it can be done reasonably well. Uh, I'm not showing video of the opening because uh, I'm taking pictures as I am uh, troubleshooting the system. So I've not really uh, taken a step-by-step -step video. But uh, sometime later, maybe I can post full video on how to open this and look at the various parts. Anyway, uh, for now, uh, we'll try to figure out uh, what's happening with the on the water line and uh, the uh, water supply that's coming into the system. Uh, many people online have posted video about uh, the water line being black and people have called it mold. Here you can see that the water line which is the top one uh, is uh, pretty black and there's it's not just black but it's got this purplish color and then uh, towards the left side of the tubing you can see the black stuff clogged in there the tubing below that is a oil pipeline yeah it sounds like some uh, petroleum pipeline yeah but that's the one that brings the oil to the uh, the door so that one is clear and uh, I'll show you towards uh, and then as we proceed why one is blackened and one is uh, clear and uh, I'll also show you that this is not really mold but it's quite different from what people have been talking about at least in this system I think it's going to be the same in other people's system because after running the uh, advanced cleaning with their recommended vinegar and citric acid there's no change in that only some uh, pieces of black stuff come out of there and then uh, the black uh, thing never goes away uh, and I'll show you a video of uh, the advanced cleaning as we are doing it uh, just hang on look at this uh, video is showing uh, the close-up of the plumbing you can see how black it is I mean uh, I don't think that's but you see this purple color I don't know if that is uh, old and it shows all the plumbing you can see back there's other um, tube coming in which is also bringing in the water that's the pedestaltic pumps the two pumps that bring the water and the oil to the uh, dough uh, you can see how black that stuff is uh, uh, sorry for my hand there uh, so I'm trying to remove it for you and show you what it looks like there you go that's how the tubing looks and it's not a very pleasant sight so need to figure out what all this no, uh, black stuff is there. So now we have uh, started the advanced cleaning uh, and I'm trying to dislodge some of the black uh, stuff that's preventing the water from going. So you'll see that moving now, there it's moving and that goes and clogs the inlet for the, so the whole tube came out and then uh, the vinegar was flowing into the system so I had to catch it and then put the tube in. So I'm holding the tube with my hand. So it doesn't leak anymore, it doesn't pop out and you can see that, uh, uh, I'm sorry about this, I'm trying to hold the tube there to prevent it from leaking. So uh, you can see the water going through and uh, just hang on there. So things are uh, moving along here, you see the water coming here. Yeah. Uh, the previous time it, it just takes some time to prime it and also don't forget that it's dripping into the cup uh, so the video goes on we are now still water is flowing some of the black stuff is moved a little bit is uh, getting dislodged but uh, there is not much change there this cycle takes about 15 minutes to run and it primes and then it pushes the water and then primes and pushes the water and there's a step before where it holds the water in the pipeline to expose it to the cleaning agent. And that's the peristaltic pump that is pushing the water there. 
and that water uh, this is not water sorry not water this is the cleaning solution so the cleaning solution with the uh, vinegar and citric acid again there you see it will come now there you go it's flowing and it doesn't clean that stuff at all some more of that cleaning going on it takes a little while like i said but, uh, this is what the water looks like after it's done you can see the black specks in there uh, and the tubing looks uh, roughly the same now we are doing the rinsing portion this is with the uh, plain water so we remove all the vinegar and citric acid again uh, we get go we get flow of the water into the system there is no dislodging this black stuff so it's kind of stuck in there there you can see the rinsing uh going on and it's the black stuff is kind of stuck on there it's uh, refusing to budge so cleaning is still going on we'll just let you watch okay now it's complete and uh everything is stopped and uh, we're just looking at the black stuff still there closer look at the black stuff and and um, you can see i'm going to crush it with my fingers let's just see what it is yeah, we can get some of it yeah see that it's it's not breaking up like mold so uh, it just creates a power resisting on my fingers and now you can see that uh, this is the area where the pipe comes into the uh, nozzle and uh, that's all that black shavings black stuff on the plastic you see you can see that nozzle has melted it's kind of uh, black and looks like the plastic is melting there so i think that's what is creating the black stuff in the pipe it's the nozzle is uh, getting heated because of the heat of all the chapati is being made and then it's burning slowly into the uh, pipeline and that's carried through every it's like fumes just uh, they don't dissolve in the water so and every time the, the system primes itself it sucks it back into the tube all the way you can see the tubing how it's going this is the uh, plastic stuff that i'm removing i mean i'm calling it plastic because it doesn't behave like mold and uh, you can see that it's nicely uh, like burnt slivers or something this is the tubing after removing it from the machine and uh, well it's you can i'm going to take out some bit of it and that's the kind of plastic black stuff that comes out i think it's plastic because of this look at the nozzle and look at the state of it it's definitely burned uh, some sort of uh, breakdown has happened so uh, i'll show you also a good nozzle later on so this stuff is coming from there i think and into the water now you can uh, you can see the good nozzle was the bad one good one looks pretty okay and that one is clearly kind of burnt up so what's going on is uh, anybody's guess yeah I don't know whether to tell you, and that's uh, this is my story. But I don't know whether to tell you to continue using it, or it's up to you guys. But uh, I'm going to try and replace the tubing, see if I can uh, uh, get peristaltic tubing because uh, Rotimatic will not give parts. Uh, I've contacted them, and uh, we'll see how this goes. But <coughs> I, I, but. Uh, suggest that people who have previously looked at the mold and opened it up give it a second look and see uh, what is it that they think is going on um, based on what uh, evidence i'm showing here i, I think it's uh, part is breaking down and uh, releasing some of the uh, material into the water so okay we'll see i'll report back how it ends up